Oh boy, I'm in I'm in kind of a wacky mood right now. But that that's less important than you know playing the game. So instead, I'm going to talk about something else. So I uh, I'm a huge nerd. I'm a huge nerd dork. I'm a huge dork nerd. You know, where's the girl? Yeah, yeah. Oh right, no, the girl's sitting in the park. I forgot about that. We left her alone because you know nobody's after her or anything. Uh, good times. So I'm I'm part of like a, a robotics team. I think I've talked about how I was in a high school robotics team before, but I'm doing basically the same kind of thing, in, you know, at a collegiate level, or I guess just at a college level or whatever. Oh boy, fellas, to beat the shit out of finally, and a big guy. God, nobody deserves a beating more than. Anyways, yeah, I know. Oh, come on. See, see, look at how much he deserves a beating. You don't just do that to me. Specifically me, by the way. I mean, it's one thing to, like, do it to a normal person, but you don't just, like, you know, knock me on the ground. It'd be perfectly acceptable to have, for it to happen to somebody other than me, of course. Just because, you know, other, other people suck and are dumb. But me, no. Is that it? Oh, yeah, okay, that was it. Well, here we go. Episode justified. It can be a visual novel now. So, um, but the team I'm working on, they have some projects lined out. Oh, great, a hobo. Or I guess a homeless man. Sorry, there is a difference. Um, sure, here. Have it. <laughs> um, one of the projects there were... Like, I'm used to robots that do stuff in a game, like a controlled environment, but now we're actually working on things that might see effective use. But I mean, it's a college campus. Huh. Yeah. I'm the guy. Cake. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Huh. <laughs> put that put that reference down. Yeah. But oh great. Well, yeah, I I could do that. Weren't we just over there? We're really doing a setting change back to the place we just were. Well, yeah. mm. Wasn't that nice of her to pawn off my takoyaki that I bought? Sheesh. I like her less and less by the day. Anyways. Um, I'm concerned that, that, like, no matter what the project is, the most difficult part of it is going to make it college-level idiot-proof, you know? Like, these people are so dumb. <laughs> you know? Specifically with things that they don't have to pay for. Like... I don't know. Maybe if those stupid freaking like electric scooters that they have around everywhere were always like parked in a nice line and never just tipped over or left in the middle of the sidewalk where it uh, gets in the way of foot traffic, then I would be like, you know, maybe we can make some kind of like delivery robot that takes stuff to places for the sake of convenience. For one. I'm not I'm not too big on that level of convenience just for some reason that's the kind of thing that I look at and I'm like uh, get, get, get get your lazy ass out of bed you know um, but I don't know I, I walk and bike everywhere so it's kind of easy for me to say go somewhere physically you lazy bum hmm <laughs> wait what I've got no time to waste. Quickly, into the bar. I guess not. Hey, pal, how's it going? Uh, anyways. But, yeah. Uh, it, it, eh. Like, uh, <laughs> I'm glad there's multiple projects because I'm, I'm literally, I, I've literally decided to dedicate my entire in energy on the team into the one that has the least interaction with students and it's still going to be bad <laughs> like i'm going to have to i'm going to look back over the proposal um 
because I think a, a lot of the difficulty hinges on... <sighs> How can I say this without being too revealing, I guess? I mean, I, I already said delivery robot, but this was going to be more of like a, a kiosk kind of thing. Like, you'd still go to a location, but... You know, I guess... Uh, I haven't been... I haven't... Hell, I haven't even laid eyes on a McDonald's in the years. But I, I heard that there was some kind of thing McDonald's... Would, what? Oh, never mind. It's, I was about to say, that guy looked like Tachibana from behind. They had the same hairstyle, okay? Where it... it um, it's long in the very back, you know? It's not actually cut. Oh, great. But... Yeah... It, it's... Uh, you, you just go to a location and the robot takes payment for something and then it brings it out to you, you know. And then my my initial thought is I might just I might just have to reword the proposal, but is the idea that the robot would make the food or if there is the food all pre made, in which case you basically can just make it like you could just make it like an Amazon fulfillment robot where you just put them all in boxes with codes on them. I mean, I, I'm guessing they don't want to put, like, a, a friggin' a fanic arm just in the middle of campus. I mean, that would be pretty cool, actually, but you'd, you'd have to make it pretty darn well weatherproofed and... Eh, not too sure about that. But, um... It, it uh... As long as it is stocked properly, you don't even really need to make it move all that much. But then, how do you keep people from messing with it? And also, how do you keep people from just stealing everything? Because, uh, I don't, I don't, put, I, I don't really put college students above all that much in terms of what people are willing to do. Uh, Alright. Anyways, time to bash skulls with a bat. I mean, I know I was just talking about a robot, but time to very mechanically, meticulously beat the crap out of a bunch of fellas, because why the hell not? Hey, dude, come on. I'm not knocking people down here. I'm like, I have to work to knock people down. And yet this guy is like... You know, I, I was I was thinking of doing Aspect of the Slugger there, but this is fine. Like, I think I'll just get it worked up. I, You know what? Let's use it on the knife guy. Never mind, I won't even have to. Yes, I will. There we go. Ah, uh, good times. That, it, it was kind of... Don't get me wrong, this was a waste of heat, but, you know, I think it's pretty cool. Okay, hold it. Jeez, pal. You know, I really should just, like, be used to putting my guard up by this point. But I'm definitely not. Oi. Dude. You know, I, I also think that my, um... My super epic, um... What was it again? The guard break acts something like a dodge sometimes. Which I just noticed. I didn't, I didn't know that, and I probably should press the B button more often, like, I don't know what part of me thinks that I can really kind of get away with just, um, you know, just, just, if I just spam X, the game goes pretty well, I mean, you see how it's been going so far. As long as I have the bat on me, I'm basically unstoppable, and this thing never breaks, so, yeah. Well, pal, any last words? For today, because I don't, I'm not big on the whole killing a man thing. Where is she? Huh? Sure you can. I haven't knocked all your teeth out, pal. You can still speak. I mean, we can change that. But uh, as it stands, you're not like completely incapable. Come on. Um. Yeah. What I'm thinking it might end up being is uh. Probably like a. There's so much of it that it really, it really becomes how do you, how do you actually make it effectively safe to be around. Um, 
and and that it that is a serious concern because pe there are a lot of stupid people on college campuses, ironically enough, and stupid people do stupid shit, especially when there are other stupid people involved. So, yeah, there's so many things you can think about, but it, it, n nothing here is in the vacuum of I just want something that does X, you know, because it's I want something that does X and will also be like interacted with by college level students you know and that <laughs> that's uh terrible like i even ah oh, geez what was it i was in a manufacturing class back in high school Ooh, really they didn't they haven't even introduced um they haven't even introduced concealed weapons at least I don't think so. Maybe they have, and I just haven't noticed because I'm not paying much attention. But, uh, yeah. Um, uh, and, what was it exactly? There was, there was some project that we were, it wasn't one that we did, it was like an, an adjacent class did, and we were just acting as the audience, and we would, um, um, we, we were like the question askers, basically the people they were presenting to, which is super cool. Um, and uh, what was it exactly? It was like the design proposition was specifically like a chair that could just be cut out of sheet metal and bent. So that was the whole deal. And that is, that is honestly, it's a very, it, it is some very difficult constraints, even just conceptually thinking about it, because it's the kind of thing that, like, what, are you going to put it outside so it can be swelteringly hot? Um, I, I guess, uh, because that, it's another thing where, I don't remember if they even said you could, like, coat it with anything, I guess. Some, some of the groups went with, um, we'll have it coated so that it's not insanely swelteringly hot. Um, but some of the groups were just like, uh, here's a table, you know, and one of them, <laughs> uh, one of them went so far as to have like a, uh, a, a force diagram and immediately looking at it, I was like, I don't know if I believe that because I don't think the software they were using were taking into account, like the material flexing at all. It's like, yeah, if you have a bunch of steel that's molded into some kind of form, then uh, I, I'm not worried that it's going to break. I'm just worried that some idiot's going to try and jump on it and bend it out of shape. Because it was it was like a hanging table. I mean, it looked cool and everything, but some guy's going to use that as a diving board, you know? And it's just, uh, whatever. Uh, anyways, I'm going to I'm going to leave it there. We're going to we're going to we're going to deal with this on the next episode. Until then, though, like, out, and subscribe. I'm gonna beat your ass. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.